So I did it. I finally went to the like infamous Tokyo team lab um, with a friend today. So I quickly want to talk about my experience because for the longest time I've been debating on whether I want to go or don't want to go because the price is quite high. Though right now you still have the Tokyo government discount. I don't know if it's also for tourists or something, but if you got your uh, like Corona shots, all of them, or if you get tested on the day, you can get into the team lab with a 20% discount, which is pretty good, I think. The price is quite high for a museum. And I feel like also team lab has this kind of, like it's one of the only museums that actually gets like hype, but it doesn't get hype, like hype hype for, oh, this exhibition, but it's more like, Ooh, this Instagram picture, if you know what I mean. So that kind of scared me away because I love seeing art in museums, obviously, because like I'm studying this thing, but I don't want to go somewhere just for a picture. I want to go there because I like the art. Um, and in the end, I decided to go to Team Lab now because I don't know what the art there is like and I can't uh, judge from Instagram pictures or just because people are taking Instagram pictures because the kind of art that they're doing, this intermedia, um, interactive stuff is like basically literally what I'm doing like I'm doing interactive media art so uh, it would be kind of weird to judge that and then do that in my own exhibition which a video is upcoming for that as well so stay tuned for that quick answer for all of those who don't want to give me watch time and want to leave right away yes I would say the money is definitely worth it please go to team lab um, go because it's an experience and it's a fun experience and if you go in a group or in a team it will be so fun just to take photos to experience all the things um, yeah, I would recommend it to go. Yeah, just go. <laughs> Honestly, the admission line was quite long, but it also went quite fast. Like everything like always in Japan is always very structured. I would advise you to get the tickets beforehand though and not to buy them on the day because sometimes either the tickets get sold out easily and also it's just an easier procedure if you have the QR code on your phone, you can just enter. In the beginning, they show you this like movie about how to go about Team Lab and you have to remove your shoes because you actually walk through the whole museum without shoes on. So, number one advice, don't wear a skirt because A, they also have mirrors everywhere. So unless you want to rent the pants that they have there or bring your own pants under the skirt, maybe don't wear a skirt and also um, don't wear skinny jeans because there's areas in the museum where the water is quite steep or like quite high. Um, so your legs are gonna get wet if you can't get your like jeans over your knees, I'd say. Those are like two tips beforehand before you want to go. Then also I just had like a great time. Honestly, I felt like it reminded me very much of in Germany of this thing like the Erfahrungsfeld der Sinne where we go in like elementary school and it's like a place where you are supposed to like feel and touch and see everything with your five senses and there's rooms that are dark and you can smell things. And that is kind of like what the museum was doing. Like I felt like a child walking through that Erfahrungsfeld der Sinne. I don't know like if there's an English equivalent for that, but it was just dealing with all of the sense. Like there were smells. They were like very, like you had the water at your feet or different materials everywhere. Then you had this, like you could touch nearly every artwork. You had to maneuver your way through some of the pieces. Um, and then also there was always sound and always, the sound was maybe even better than some of the visuals, I'd say. Like the visuals were nice and they were Instagrammable, if you'd say. But I don't think they were anything too special, in my opinion. I think what made it special was the composition of the sound and the visuals, like the audiovisual and sensory experience. And yeah, I, I'd say Team Lab is definitely worth it. Also, you saw me walking there. Um, the area around Team Lab is like, it's like close to Ginza, but also on the Tokyo Islands in a way. And those are like very posh places with high skyscrapers that are so clean um, and pretty, but also like expensive feeling. So I'd say even just going to that area to walk around is really worth it because you see so much different things there. And like Rainbow Bridge is like close, so you can take a picture of that if you want to. Um, and yeah, I'd say... So this is like my whole experience for Team Lab, I guess. <laughs> and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a place where you want to go. Uh, and also take pretty Instagram pictures because let's face it, yes, yes, you can take pretty Instagram pictures there. And I think though that people should say that Team Lab isn't the Instagram place. I think it's still a museum, maybe first and foremost. It just has a different approach than maybe the Tokyo Natural Museum or History Museum, of course, because those are very static places with historical artwork, which is very beautiful as well. I would also recommend people to go there 
but it's a different experience. I'd say probably more to like the mainstream TikTok audience, like Team Lab will appeal more. And it's kind of sad because I don't want old school museums to get lost, but also like if they don't change up their game and make it more interactive or more maybe viewer friendly, then these places will eventually get taken over by places like Team Lab, in my opinion. Like the museum of the future needs to change up a little bit if it wants to keep people engaged and coming. So I think in that way, even though Team Lab is like a very special example, it's a good example for how our like museum future might maybe look like. But that's like a topic for another day, I think. Um, but definitely if you went to Team Lab, like tell me down below or if you have something similar in your country, um, how you like the experience or if you would go if you ever came to Tokyo. 